This week's feast, the Sumire Karage Roll from Food Wars. What's up everybody? We are back. More Food Wars recipes from the man, the myth, the legend himself, Jimmy Wong. Actually, Soma from the show. But look at me. I know, I'm, you look I, amazing. Thank you, I look exactly like him. I can't get over it. If only I could cook as well as he could. Or, who knows? Wait, what do you mean, who knows? <laughs> We've done this show a billion times before and it keeps providing. The brand new season is also out, so you should watch and check that out yes. if you like cooking in your anime or just really legitimate recipes. And today, we are frying some chicken up, putting it into a wrap, and it's gonna be a delicious, fun treat for you to make at home as well. Yep. So let's get cooking. Yeah. One of the many reasons we love Japanese food on Feast of Fiction is because of the wide variety and clever ways they make their food so simple yet complex and different. Throughout cooking history, one thing has led to more new ways of cooking than anything else, and that's a shortage. When there's less of something, humans are so incredibly resourceful in finding new ways to innovate and iterate on their food. In Japan, a food shortage after the war led to karage, which is a way of deep frying chicken and meat but with a very light coating of flour on top. Its preparation is similar to tempura and is typically eaten with rice and cabbage. But recently, as we see in Food Wars, it's become normal to eat it in a wrap with perilla and lettuce leaves. First things first, let's marinate our chicken so we can ensure to get the most flavor from it after we fry. In a blender or food processor, combine apple slices, onion, soy sauce, chopped garlic cloves, ginger, honey, sake, and blend until it's all one consistency. Next, prepare your chicken thigh by cutting into small cube-sized shapes, then add it to a plastic bag, then pour your marinade over. Seal tightly and fully coat your meat to marinate it overnight in the refrigerator. Next, we're making a ban shu. Forgive my pronunciation, but it's Vietnamese for a sizzling pancake. After all, we gotta wrap this chicken in something, and this crispy Vietnamese crepe is perfect for that. Combine your dry ingredients of flour, rice flour, and turmeric and rainbow whisk it up. Next, pour in your coconut milk and water and beat until it's a fully formed batter. Heat cooking oil in a frying pan and pour your batter on top until it reaches the edges. You should cook it on low heat so that you can make sure that every part of the bottom of the pan is covered. Now once the edges start to turn up, add a little more oil around the edges and cook until it's crispy. Then using a spatula or your skills as a chef, flip the whole thing over and finish off the other side. Now remove your chicken from the marinade and add potato starch, lightly tossing it, but not too much. The uneven flour on top gives our karage its signature unique texture when it's fried. Heat a pot of oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and deep fry each piece of chicken between three and five minutes or until it's perfectly golden brown. Remove from the heat, dab the extra oil off, and let's assemble. In your wrap, place lettuce and perilla leaves for the base layer, then pieces of karage chicken. Dorm with as much sriracha sauce as you want, followed by another layer of lettuce. You can even place it in a small custom box, just like they do in Food Wars. And voila, the incredible chicken karage wrap from Food Wars. This is one of those dishes you would just die to see at any state fair, convention, or party, but you probably won't. So quit waiting around and make it yourself. It's a refreshing and awesome take on your typical chicken karage, and this one's got that extra kick of spice on top too. Enjoy! This episode is only made possible thanks to the support of our amazing patrons, and we shout one person out every single week. So this week is dedicated to... Who's that patron? It's Trusilla! Trusilla! Bam! Whoa! Happy summer days. Dude. We only made one, so that means... <laughs> I'm gonna have to split it. You wanna be Do the, the, honors? the yeah, the I'll first eat victim? My side. Ooh, the crunch mm -hmm. sounds good. And the chicken? Mm -hmm. Most important part? And the sriracha? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the most important part. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> that's so much fun. Wow. Oh my god, the chicken is so good. Does it taste better with in your costume? <laughs> yes. Just wondering. 100 percent tastes better. Tastes better, feels but better. I can tell you my experience is already 100% better watching you in costume mm. eat this thing. The main character rarely eats his own food. So this is a first for me at least. It is, you're taking Food Wars to the next level. Oh my gosh, it's chicken. So good, the marinade, amazing. Yeah, leaving it marinating for a long time is really the key to infusing the chicken with as much flavor as possible. And then she's about getting that nice fry. Oh yeah, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and it's spicy too. Mm -hmm. I love it, it's got a good kick. That's it's really you know. spicy, actually. I'm like dealing with it right now in my mouth. Yeah, the dots are collecting on his nose. On my nose? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Maybe when I eat spicy food, my hair turns even more red. Wow. 
good. You're really embracing the character, Wim. I like it. I am. Food Wars is back, by the way. A new season is now online, so you should check it out. If you haven't seen the first three, there have been three seasons now. We're on the fourth. Pretty crazy. But this will certainly blow your clothing away or make you shriek in delight and <laughs> fantasize in highly animated and perhaps overly animated sequences that don't need to last as long as they do. We get it, the food tastes great. That's why we make it on the show. Yeah! So you should make this at home as well. Again, frying, a little dangerous. Make sure you have a parent around if you're young or just be very, very careful if you're an adult. Yeah, and I think you guys will really enjoy it. Actually, be careful if you're a kid too. Just be careful in general when you're frying stuff. Yeah. But the end result is fantastic. It's a whole bunch of flavors mashed into one. Yep. And another amazing food you could carry around the street fair if it existed. And you can make this cute little container to go with it if you like. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So cute. I mean, literally takes the recipe to the next level. Always crafts, in my opinion. The uh, little known fact, do you know why that the pink box is so ubiquitous in all like Asian pastries and stuff? Why? Back in the day when the first like pastry store became existed, the okay. person that ran it wanted to find boxes to put all the stuff in, but he didn't want to pay full price for like the nice white boxes. Turns out there was a bunch of pink ones that were cheaper. And as a result, the pink box has now just become like the commonplace thing for like Donuts, pastries, all that wow, stuff. Wow, that's mm -hmm. fascinating. What country you say that happened in again? Uh, America, this oh. very country. I think the person that did it was Vietnamese or a was some kind of Asian, but they definitely know how it. to get a good deal. And this is a good deal <laughs> right here. This is a great deal. Uh, another great deal is you can sign up on Patreon, patreon.com slash Feast of Fiction, and help support the show because patrons like you got a great deal in helping support us make this awesome set behind us. Yeah. It's all thanks to them that we were able to upgrade. And next year, when the book is coming out as well, those patrons definitely are gonna get some sneak peeks that you can't find anywhere else. Until then, I guess we'll just keep eating delicious chicken karage. As always, leave a comment below and let us know what you wanna see us make next. Yep, and of course, follow us on our social media. On all the social media. We hope you guys enjoyed this episode. The recipe is amazing, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.